Welcome back, everybody. Well, after months of being hunkered down inside, we could all use some outdoor fun, and that includes our pets as well. Joining us today with some DIY pet treats and also toys from the OSPCA, we've got Callie Milliman. Great to see you, Callie. Hello. Hey, Callie. So for a lot of people who've been in lockdown, uh, keeping their pets active has also been a challenge. So I know humans can kind of experience cabin fever. Can pets get cabin fever? Yeah, they certainly can, Lainey. I mean, it's been a, a little bit of a different time for everybody, you know, being indoors, working from home. Our pets are, are with us constantly. Um, but you know what? Keeping active is really what is going to promote that positive energy. So uh, the Ontario SPCA actually has a brand new virtual fundraiser called Sweat for Pets. And it's all geared towards getting you active, getting your family active, getting your furry friends active. Every week, you will get an email right to your inbox that gives you a brand new challenge for the week to get the whole family engaged. All people have to do is visit sweatforpets.ca. Um, we recently decided, as actually a lot of families did over the pandemic, to bring a new pet into the family. For us, it's our Doberman Cleopatra. But listen, bringing a dog home for the first time is difficult. The transition is tough. Do you have something that can help ease that for our pets? We've got a real classic one here, and this is the Kong. Every dog owner knows the Kong. They're loved because of the, the way that they can help uh, keep your pets occupied. But we're putting a bit of a summer twist on this one. So I'm actually going to make a frozen Kong, and it's really easy, and it's a fun one to get the kids involved in. Marquez, I'm sure, would love to do this project. It's a little messy and kind of uh, customizable. So I basically just got some wet food here. And what you do essentially is you just want to fill the Kong up with the wet food. Really simple. Like I said, kind of messy. I'm getting it all in there. And stinky. <laughs> they do smell a little bit, yes. Um, you could put bits of apple in there or cheese, whatever your pet's favorite treat is. And then to decorate it a little bit, I like to always take a little cookie and put it right in there pop it in the freezer and then it's going to be fun for your dog for a long time as it melts and gets nice and gross but it's cold and they love it we like to take our dogs for what we call epic walk but what we do at the beginning of the walk is we hose them down make sure they're wet and then we try and get somewhere at the halfway point to dunk them in the water then when we get home they're so hot so is there anything that you can recommend to give them that is also fun uh, and a treat for all their hard work during the walk to cool them down if I know anything about Barney and Elvis, I'm telling you right now, they're going to love these popsicles, Lainey, I promise. A popsicle. Yes, a popsicle. Isn't that fun? So I'm making a, a sweet treat version of it. But again, any of these can be converted into savory as well. You could go back to that wet food and you could do that cheese. But this one I'm doing banana peanut butter. And I'm not measuring this. You don't have to be exact about it. I just take a good old wall of my peanut butter put it in there, get some water going to loosen it all up, and then just start mashing it all up until it becomes a nice peanut butter banana mixture. Take your classic standard ice cube tray, fill it up with that delicious mixture, pop it in the freezer, and look, I've got my little ones here, and they're delicious. Oh, that's oh, a good that's treat. So... It is a good treat. This... They love banana and they love peanut butter. I want to know what the beetles don't like. That's actually the, the harder question. Avocado. They do not like avocado. Wouldn't have even thought to try that with the dogs, but wonderful. <laughs> From one four-legged pet to another, and that is cats. Because, listen, they need to sort of stretch out of this pandemic funk, too. What is a DIY toy for um, our feline friends? Absolutely, Mel. You totally nailed it. I think my cat has had enough of me being at home. Um, so this is something that he loves and keeps him occupied and out of my hair while I'm trying to get some work done. So what this is, is just making cat grass. I personally really love this because I'm a gardener. I love watching my garden grow. And this is fun because you get to make a little indoor garden for your cat and watch it grow. So essentially what I've got here is just a container with some soil in it and then cat grass seeds. Now what's important to note about this is don't go to your local hardware store and pick up grass seed, okay? You wanna make sure that it is a pet friendly grass seed. So really simple, just gonna put my seeds into my soil, cover them up, 
And then what's important when working with seeds and seedlings is that you use a spray bottle to keep them uh, watered because you don't want to pour a whole bunch of water in and disturb all the seeds and they want to get their roots. So you just give them a nice little spray and you're good to go. Keep it in a nice well-lit area and hopefully you'll end up with a whole container like this. Whoa. You know, over the last few months, uh, we humans have been accumulating a lot of household waste, and you have a way to repurpose some of that for our pets. I think we all remember how, I guess I'll say popular, toilet paper was at one time not so long ago. <laughs> and so I've got something here for toilet paper rolls. So you can have your family collect some of those toilet paper rolls and then put them to good use and repurpose them. So the one I've got here is a cat puzzle. It's really fun and easy to make. So I've got a couple of different versions here. We've got just some non-toxic uh, paint that we've painted on here, crayons, you know, whatever. The kids can decorate the toilet paper rolls, which is awesome. Then all you want to do is just cut four slits into the bottom of your toilet paper roll. And once you do that, you're just going to fold the bottom in so that it closes the back of it off. And then all I do is take some cat treats or even a little bit of cat kibble and you just tuck them in and hide them into these little spots. And then your cat likes to get its little paws in there and start having fun and play with this puzzle and then it can roll around on the floor as well. Really fun. This rebound of nature has a lot of rabbits visiting us in our backyard, which made me realize there are a lot of people who still have a lot of pet, pet rabbits at home. They need some DIY toy love too. What can we make them? If you're working from home and you have a small animal at home, this is a great time to put out a pen in a part of your house or in your bedroom or something and give them some exercise time out of their regular cage. So this is a great one for when they're having exercise time because it rolls around the floor. So here with the toilet paper roll, we've stuffed it just with some of the rabbit's hay. And so what they love is they'll nibble on the hay. They'll also nibble on the cardboard. Rabbits and small animals do enjoy nibbling on cardboard. And this also rolls around on the floor and they get to chase it. I've also got a version here that I'm going to do up with some lettuce. So again, it's a great tip to make sure you are giving your rabbit regular vegetables in their diet. And so this one, I'm just stuffing lettuce right in there. And again, they're going to love that. So Callie, you know, I have two beagles and because I'm cooking so much more and their noses are so powerful, cooking time is torture for them, especially for Elvis, who just can't help himself. So is there something that you can recommend that while I'm cooking, Elvis and Barney can be busy too with something tasty? Yes. And in fact, this is one that I snack on while I'm making it because it is kind of yummy. So this is an apple peanut butter ball. So I'm going to get my peanut butter that I was using earlier. And keep in mind that you do want a peanut butter that is xylitol free because that is harmful to dogs. So make sure you check your label. And I'm going to build my apple back together using the peanut butter as, I guess, glue, you could say. So essentially, you just spread the peanut butter onto the sides of your apple. And then what you want to do is start to put the pieces back together. This is messy, so get ready. It all squishes and oozes out everywhere, which is kind of fun. Before you serve it to your dog, take it out of the freezer a couple of minutes before so that it can start to melt a little bit, just so it's not so rock hard solid. And definitely do this one outside because your floors will be an absolute peanut butter mess. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Well, these are all such great ideas. So timely for the season ahead as well. Thank you for these so much, Callie. And anybody who's watching, if you want more of these ideas and tips, OntarioSPCA.ca is your resource. We'll be back after this.